Hello everybody and welcome to Gene's Reviews. Reviews from a regular dude. Where I do movie reviews, trailer reactions, I react to YouTube videos, and I review YouTube channels. And I do whatever the hell I want. Today I'm doing something different. I'm talking about pet peeves. Everybody has pet peeves. I know I do. I'm going to give you my 10 biggest pet peeves. And uh, if you have any pet peeves, let me know in the comments below. Or if you have a YouTube channel where you're making videos, make a video on it as a response to this. And post the link in the comments down below. And I'll check it out. Anyways, here we go. These aren't in any particular order. But my first one I'm going to talk about is self-righteous people. People that think that they're the shit. They think that ev they're right. Everything they do. They're just such good people. And you're terrible. And yeah. Self-righteous people absolutely drive me crazy. Number two. Okay. Now I have nothing against people. What they believe in. Like whether they're, they're atheist. Or whether they're, they believe in God. Or whatever. You can believe what you want. I really don't care. But my second pet peeve is people who are atheists and act like if you do believe, you're stupid. I've seen a lot of people post stuff like um, on the internet and all that saying you may as well believe in fairy tales and stuff like that. That pisses me off. Believe what you want. I really don't care. But when you say stuff like that, it's just insulting. And I want to mention also... There's a comedian out there that I will never watch. In fact, if he comes on my TV, I fast forward right through him because I can't stand him. He's from Australia and his name's Jim Jeffries. He's a prick. I can't stand him. He's, he's that way. And he does it just, I know, to shock or whatever, but I don't think he's funny. That's number two. Number three is kind of the, along the lines of number one. It's arrogance. Arrogance versus confidence. Now, being confident is great. Everybody should be confident. You ha should have confidence in yourself and your abilities and everything like that. But arrogance is completely different. Arrogant people, I just, ugh, they just rub me the wrong way. Number four, bullying or picking on people. Maybe, you know, most bullies out there really aren't all that. They think they're all tough and everything, but if it came right down to it, they're really not. They're, they have problems of their own, I think. Maybe low self-esteem or something like that. It makes them feel better to pick on somebody. And yeah, I just don't like bullies. I don't like seeing someone getting picked on. Maybe because they're, they're handicapped or something like that. It just really irritates me. So bullying is number four. Number five, bad manners. And I'm not talking about like, you know, keeping your elbows off the table and stuff like that. I don't care about that. I'm talking about like, I've, I've had this happen to me where I've been walking into a restaurant or something and there's somebody behind me. And so I hold the door open for them so they can come in and they just walk right by. No, thank you. No, nothing. It just a little bit of respect, you know, a little bit of manners. I... If somebody does that for me, I tell them thank you. I've even had them walk by me before and I went, you're welcome. You know, stuff like that. I've also had it happen the opposite way where I was walking in behind someone and the door slammed right in my face. They didn't bother holding it open. So yeah, stuff like that really drives me crazy. Another one, fake people. Fake people. Oh, they just, they just. Ooh, they really drive me crazy. Like, um, for instance, sitting in a restaurant and the server, the waiter or wait, well, actually, I shouldn't say waiter or waitress. They're servers now. I know. Okay? Don't, don't jump on me for calling them waiters or waitresses. They're servers. I know that. But the server comes up to me and goes, Hi, how are you? What can I get for you? It, it's so phony. It's so fake. Just be yourself. I know they're doing it thinking if, you know, they're desperate. I, I'm going to be really nice to them so I can get a big tip. Well, I'm going to tip you. 
Don't worry about that. Just, you know, don't be fake about it. Just be yourself. I'd rather you were just yourself, you know? Yeah, I, I can't stand fake people that are like and really, really nice to you in front of your face. And then behind you, they talk about your talk about you behind your back and stuff like that. Yeah, fake people drive me crazy. <laughs> the next one we got is hypocrites. Can't stand hypocrites. People that say, you know, I, I, I grew up with a lot of stuff like that in the church and everything like that. They would look down on somebody who um, their parents drank or smoked or something like that. Or if that person drank or smoked, they'd look down on them. But then on the weekend, on Saturday night, they'd go up in the canyon and and park and make out and who knows what else. You know, but then they'd go to church Sunday morning and everything's okay because they repented. Stuff like that. They're just absolute hypocrites. They they would do the same, same thing. A lot of them. They would look down on you in church, but then they'd go do the same thing afterwards. And then think, well, I can repent next week and everything will be okay. Those kind of people drive me crazy also. Okay, now this one may not seem like a really big deal, but it really does bother me. When I'm driving down the road and the person is right up my ass and they're tailgating me, I, I brake check them every single time. I'll slam on the brakes to back them off a little bit. Absolutely drives me nuts when they're right on my ass like that. Go around me if you're in that big of a hurry. Or actually, if you're in that big of a hurry, you should have left earlier, in my opinion. But... Yeah, especially at night with their bright lights on, blaring in through my rear view mirror and everything blinding me and they're right on my ass. <sighs> Road rage. The next one is those YouTube videos. Those fake YouTube videos of people helping the homeless where they've obviously hired somebody bottom Taco Bell or something to say, you know, give them a script and say a few things, you know, and act like, oh, thank you. Thank you for all your help and everything when they actually, it's all fake. And then they get all these views and they make all this money off of being fake. That's just, that's despicable. And rich people bitching about how bad they have it. Oh, you don't understand. I have all these problems because I have all this money and everything. That absolutely drives me nuts. These people have obviously never been poor. They've never had to really struggle and everything. I, myself, and I'm not complaining here, don't get me wrong, but my work schedule for next week, they only schedule me one freaking day. One day. So, um, all these people bitching about all the money they have, they can go to hell. <laughs> Honestly. And now, a bonus one. People not controlling their children in public. I've been sitting in a restaurant before, and the little kid was running all over the place. The parents weren't doing anything to control him. He actually jumped on my freaking lap while I was sitting there. The parents did nothing. I, I had to get up and leave. That's ridiculous. And I don't blame the child. I blame the parents. If I would have been acting like that as a kid, my dad would have took me and, and we would have left. Or he would have made me go sit in the car or something. He, he would have kept me under control. Either way. That yeah, just drives me nuts. People not controlling their children. Another time, I was in a bathroom stall. I was sitting on the toilet and a little kid crawled underneath the toilet and his dad was in there with him. Dad really didn't do anything. I was like, hey, I yelled. And then the father was like, oh, come on, come on, come on. I pulled him out. Just stuff like that. Keep your kids under control. <sighs> That's all. Thank you, everybody.
Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, hashtag Mean Gene. If you have some pet peeves and you want to make a video on it, post it in the comments down below and I will check it out. Thank you and I will see you 